Welcome to the Colibri uh, project, module 8, which is uh, applications and services. This introduction is about the Internet of Things, which is one of the three items in module 8. Internet of Things is a thing that we see develops quite rapidly. There is two papers included in this module. One is the Gartner Group um, identification of 10 strategic technology trends for 2015. Uh, and the other one is more detailed into the Internet of Things coming from Wikipedia, which is providing an overview. There is a lot of journal papers on the Internet of Things, both directly and indirectly. But we have chosen these to give you an introduction to this important topic. The first paper from the Gartner Group identifies 10 strategic technology trends for 2015. Gartner Group in the US makes this kind of trend analysis every year. And for 2015, the 10 predictions are the following. Computing everywhere, which is actually about mobility. The Internet of Things, which is this main topic, to manage, monetize, operate and extend uh, how uh, Internet is included in everything around us. Third is 3D printing. Fourth is advanced analytics, which is actually bit, big data covered in the module uh, five. The context risk system also connected to big data in the module 5. The smart machines, which is also uh, can seem, uh, be seen as part of the Internet of Things. We have the cloud and client computing, which is included in module 5. Software defined application infrastructure, which is connected both with module 5. Uh, the big data cloud computing and also together with the Internet of can seen as part of Internet of Things. The web scale IT, which is also connected to both big data, cloud computing and Internet of Things. And we have the last one, risk-based security and self-protection. If you go more into the next paper on the Internet of Things, we have the Wikipedia defining it quite uh, extensively, and, uh, saying that the Internet of Things is to manage, monetize, operate and extend by providing connectivity and control of system and gadgets, also seen as an important part of the IP version 6. We have the data gathering, which is how items around us, credit cards and whatever, is providing uh, new data into the systems. The most common way of doing it is to utilizing RFID, but there is several options to how to do that. And we have the service provision by operations, meaning that we do get data from the um, gadgets that we control, but we also are able to control them to, uh, from, as part of the Internet operations. So, Internet of Things involves applications in monitoring, management, healthcare, home automation, and transport, and of course, combination of these into almost any kind of things that we see around us. So, please read the papers to be prepared for the quiz, and when you have done so, continue with the quiz for this topic. Thank you.